Hello everybody and welcome to the second video of the ROS Projects series where we are talking about performing LSD slam with a drone. So let's continue from the point we left it in the first video. So first of all let's launch our project, the project we created. So let's start it, let's start the RDS environment. There it is, here we have it. Then Excellent. Now let's open a. First of all, let's open a shell. There we are. And let's open also an IDE so that we can edit our files easily. So, yeah, if you remember in the first part of this series, we tried to, to install these LSD SLAM uh, packages and compile them, and we were having some errors. So let's continue to see what we can do in order to solve the, these errors. We tried two methods. We tried the, the method which comes here, which is uh, compiling it through a Rosmake, which is the old method of doing, of doing this. And we also tried another method, an alternative method, which was with uh, doing catkin. Do you remember? So, so yeah, let's see. Okay, so let's come here and download again uh, our package. Let's go to the point where we left it in the previous video. So let's compile this. LSD slam, there we are. And if you remember, we did a couple of things. One was to install some packages, which they are already inst installed. And the other was to add here to the semic lists and, and the package XML. Oh yeah, this is the old version, so we don't want this. Uh, ls, let's go here. We need to go to the Katkin branch. There we are. Reload. Okay, now we are there. So, yeah, we need to add the CMake module both in, in in both packages so now i mean in the viewer okay yeah i'm i'm in this one so i add it here and i add it also in the package xml if you don't remember about this just go to the previous video and you will see you will understand what i'm doing okay but for now i'm going to do it quick make models okay and let's do the same for the core package there we are and And there we are. Great, so let's try to compile this and hopefully hopefully we will get the error where we left it in the previous video. It was a, an error from a header file which wasn't finding keyframe message if I don't remember wrong. I think it was something something like that. The keyframe message dot h header there we are yeah this is the error excellent so this is where we left it in the previous video uh, in the site of the catkin compilation so okay how we can solve this basically this is uh, an error where it cannot find this keyframe message age so it is trying to compile something without having compiled first this messages yeah so what you should do is to compile first these uh, these messages to get the header files and then compile the whole thing yeah but because of how the catkin file uh, the cmake list sorry file is built this is not happening like this so it tries it needs at this point it needs something that it is or it is not yet created yeah which is this header file okay yeah this keeps going but it's going to stop now 
Um, okay, so how can we solve this? It's, it's quite easy, in fact. So what we will need to do is to to just add one thing to the semi-glist file. Well, we, we are going to have to add uh, more things, but all of them are related to this same uh, issue, okay? So it's going to be more or less the same. But basically, let's come here to the... In this case, it's complaining, it's complaining about the LSD Slam Viewer package. Okay, so let's come here to the Slam Viewer and let's open the semi-glist file. How is this going? Okay, yeah, it's, it's compiling, but it's going to to stop now. Okay. Okay, so here in the CMake uh, lists file, uh, we will need to come. Okay, here for instance, and we, we will need to add an add dependencies line. Okay, and what we will need to do here. As you can see, the, the executable is called viewer. So, viewer and lsd slam viewer underscore generate messages cpp. Okay, so this line here, as I am stating these messages as a, as a dependency, yeah, this is going to force to generate the header files before the compilation. So then, this error here, it will disappear, okay? Because uh, it will be forced to generate these messages, to compile these messages before, to compile these messages before it does the whole compilation, okay? Then, okay, yeah, here it has finished the compilation, as I said before. So, yeah, basically this is what, what you need to do, okay? It's at this add dependencies line, Okay, so yeah, let's try to compile again and see what happens. You will see that we will get more errors, but they are related to the same issue. Okay. Yeah, so as you can see, it uh, keeps compiling a little bit more. And here we have another error with the LSD Slam core. Uh, okay. Okay, and here we have the error, yeah? But as you can see now, it's not anymore the Slam viewer. Yeah, in the, in the previous compi compilation, the error as you can see, came here from the LSD, LSD Slam Viewer package. Yeah? In this case, the error comes from the LSD Slam Core package. Okay? So, the error is the same, but it's different. So, basically here, what I need to do is to do exactly the same for the Core package. And I will need to do it in the semiglitz file of the core package, okay? Then in this case, let's come down here. Okay, so here we need to... add also an add dependencies line. And in this case, as you can see, uh, we have this LSD slam executable, so LSD slam and lsd slam viewer generate messages cpp there we have it then we we'll need to generate one for this lsd slam executable another one for this live slam executable and another one for this dataset executable okay so let's copy this line and add it here and change the executable name for live slam. There we are. And another one here for the dataset executable. Okay. 
Excellent. So let's recompile again after these modifications. And let's see what, what happens now. There it goes. Okay, it's going well for the moment. Let's see. Okay, there we have a warning, which is not important. More warnings. Anything critical? Okay, so we have... It's almost done, as you can see, but we have another error, which is this X init treats, and this is very easy to solve. This, is, this can be solved just by uh, adding... Let me see... Yeah, you need to add here to the target link uh, libraries here in the LSD slam executable. You need to add here... Uh, uh, the x11 uh, library okay so here at the end you add this x uh, capital x11 we add this library here let's compile again and hope hopefully this will be the last one let's see if everything works Works okay now. There it goes. Great, so it has compiled. It has compiled properly. Excellent. So well we have solved the all the errors and we have been able to successfully compile this LSD slam package using the catkin method. Great, so now let's uh, let's try it, let's test it. So for that, let's see how we can use it. Here we have the usage. So basically the command we, we want to try is this one here, which is ROS run LSD slam core life slam, and then we will specify the image topic, the stream topic, and the camera info topic. Great. So first of all, we will need to obviously launch our simulation in order to have all those topics available. Okay, so let's launch for instance the test, test world, I don't know. There we are. Here, there it is loading the simulation. Okay, so let's have a, a look at the topics of our simulation. And in our case, uh, we have this art drawn camera info. And our drone image row, which will be the topics we are going to use here in the stream topic and the camera info topic. So, yeah, let's copy this command and and put the right topics in here, and let's see what happens. So, okay, this is our drone, our drone camera info. And our drone image row. Uh, wait, this topic is uh, it's a typo. Okay, let's 
sí. Okay, let's put it in 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 one line just to make sure that everything is okay. Are drawn. Camera info. Yeah. Are drawn camera info and are drawn image wrap. Okay. There we are. Again, image row. There we are. So let's let's try this command. And here we have the error, this memory corruption error. Okay, this is where I stopped in this case. I I tried uh, some things in order to solve this. I, I was searching for some information, but I couldn't solve this error. So at this point, I decided to switch to the ROS build uh, version to this, to try to do it here with uh, ROSMAKE, try to compile it this way to see if I have more success, because I wasn't able to solve this error. So, well, let's try the other way in this case. So I'm going to to remove here the LSD slam package. Yeah, I want to close tabs. Okay, so let's go back to the version which is explained here. So let's try very quickly all these steps. Uh, let's create, okay. This is wrong. Now, there we are, Rose build workspace. Okay, then inside the Rose build workspace, We do a workspace in it, then we create this new package here. There we are. Yes. I'm doing this very quickly because this already was done in the previous video, so these are just the, the initial steps. Then this is already installed as well. Then I will need to download the repo here. There we are. And then, okay, so now let's do the ROS make LSD slam. Mm. Okay. There we are, and this is the this is exactly the error we got in the in the previous video as well. We stopped here, so this is, we can solve it very very easily as well by doing a rosdeb update. Okay. It is updating the environment. Then let's compile again. And now it will compile successfully. It will it's a little bit uh, long also. Maybe I will I will cut the video until the end of the the compilation when it finishes. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so there we are. Finally, it has 
it has finished yet. As you can see, it has taken a while. So yeah. Uh, so well, let's try. Let's test if what happens with this method. Here we have the simulation. Let's see if everything is running properly. Let's do a raw topic list. Okay. Yeah. Here we have the topics. So let's let's try again the the. Let me check one second the ROS package path. Okay, so let's let's try again the command, and let's see what happens now. And there we are. The camera info topic, which is our drone camera info. And our drone image raw. There we are. Okay, so what do you think it will happen this time? It will work, it won't work, it my PC will explode. Let's see what happens. Okay, and of course we have this memory corruption error, our dear friend memory corruption error. So yeah, we have tried both both methods, the cat king and the ROS make. We have achieved to compile to compile the package in both ways and at the end we have this same error which is this memory corruption error. Okay, so in my personal case I have no idea of what this error is. I have searched it a little bit but I still don't know how to solve it. I don't have a clear idea of what it is, why, why this error appears, what is causing this error. So yeah, I will try to solve it for the next video. If you have any idea, any suggestion, leave it in the comments. It will be, of course, welcomed because at this point I am a little bit lost. I don't know quite well what to do. So well, See you in the next video. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have liked it, please leave a like, subscribe. We keep publishing videos like this one uh, every day with different projects. So yeah, keep tuned. Uh, well, see you in the next video. Goodbye.